this class, we are going to learn how to create a user or a user account in Oracle Fusion instance with the method to approach. In our earlier class, we had seen how we can create a user account with the help of security console option within the tools. So in this class, we are going to use another method. So with the method to approach, we will be able to associate the business unit before the user, manager, job location, so and so forth. I will tell you what and all details we can associate it with the user. So in order to add or create any user, we need to click on the profile menu over here. Just click on this. As soon as you click on this, you will get a pop up with the menu. We need to go to setup and maintenance, which is part of administrations. Click on this. So by default, the setup will be compensation management over here on the left top corner. We need to change it to financials. Click on this. If you scroll down, there is a section called as users and security. If you click on this, you will get the tasks which are part of this function area. Our focus of interest is manage users. Also, you can query for manage users over here. Once you change the setup to financials, click on enter. If you click on enter, you will get manage users. Other option is we can click on this and get the manage users option. Click on the manage users link over here. It will open up this page. Here you can query for any users if you want to. Just I am giving the keyword and searching. Here there is a user created and the user is having some name and they are part of a business unit and resource, human resource and so on and so forth. I will click on this and open the details for this employee. These are the details for that particular user. Now we are going to create a user and this we are taking the reference in order to populate the details in the create user form. Now in order to create the user, we need to go back to our search person screen or the page which we got by clicking on manage users. Now in order to create a user, we need to click on this plus button that is create. Click on this. As soon as you click on this, you will get a create user form or the page. Now if you toggle the browser tab and open up the user details which we had opened for our reference. So the form will look similar like what we have in the case of Annie. We need to fill the form with the details similar to what it is shown over here. Now in our case the last name will be learning 02 I will put. First name I will put as Binam. Middle name if any you can give I will give over here as Mr. Here we need to provide the email. I have provided the email over here. Higher date if you want to change you can change. I am keeping default date that is today's date and today's date is 6th of October 2022. Phone number and fax number you can provide over here. If you scroll down, if you are creating this user afresh, then we need to populate the username over here. Suppose if you have already created a user account with the help of security console, what we had shown in our previous class, then we need to click on this link user account. So you will get an option that is a link button over here. Click on this. If you click on this, you will get an option here. We need to search. Now let me search Binum over here. If you had created, it will list the user account with this name that is Binum. So it is not showing up over here as I am using the demo account. It has not successfully created our user account in our previous class. So if you have created with the help of security console, it will list over here. Just select and click on OK. That's the only difference. But here in this case, I am going to create a fresh user. Click on this and write the name as Binum.learning. 02. Done. If you scroll down, user notification preference. If you don't know what it is, just click on this help. Clicking on it, it will open the help menu. You can click on this and read more details. So you will be getting an email notification with the username password as soon as you create the employee over here. Now, if you scroll down, you will get an employment information section. Here, the person type we need to select. Now, if we check the ANIS details over here, the person type is employee. We are going to select similar thing over here. As soon as you select the person type, you will get other details to be populated like the legal employer, business unit. These are mandatory. Whatever you see asterisk symbol over here, those are mandatory. Let's now check what details have for ANI. Let me copy same thing. Just copy and paste it over here and select. If you want, you can click on this arrow button. You will get a LOV menu and you can search over there as well. Let me go back to Annie's information. Copy this business unit detail. Go back to the create user. Paste it over here. Select the unit. Under the job, I will select the same thing and paste it over here. Click on this and the employee grade. 
all those things are customizable in your customer's instance this you can customize as per the business or the customer's need under the department it should be remuneration dk so those things you can change but I don't want anything to error out. So I'm giving whatever is used in order to create an employee already. As based on this, select location, I will give as Albog. Based on this, select this. And at the end, manager. As I told, we can associate a user to a particular manager. We can assign to a particular job grade, job description, business unit, employer, department, so and so forth. And we are having the resource information section as well. Go to user. Here they have left blank. If you want, you can expand and click the resource information if any. I am leaving this empty. This is not mandatory. Coming to the roles, you can click on auto provision roles so that it can auto provision the roles which are meant for this instance. Now, if you expand this role request, so these are automatic. That is on clicking on auto provision roles, it has added over here the roles. If you want, we can add few more roles we can request over here also we had seen how we can modify or add the roles to the user in our previous class with the help of security console that also option we can use after creating the user from this menu once all the details are populated just verify you have entered properly and click on save and close okay the email address i am getting the error over here because the email address i have already used in order to create the earlier user account that is bnum.learning01 it's okay i am giving a other account over here that is the outlook account click on save and close as soon as the user account has been created you will get an email notification i will show you the email notification sample sent from oracle fusion instance to my email account after clicking on save and close it will route you back to this search person screen this is the same screen which we got by clicking on manage users option within the users and security under the financial setup now let me search over here the user what we have created click on enter yeah our user is displaying over here click on this yeah it will open up the details for that particular person that is binum learning now let me switch over to my outlook email client and show you the sample yeah this is the sample email which we will get with the hello binum learning name and we can click on this start journey and open the oracle fusion instance and we can log in and do the implementations for customer or we can learn oracle fusion now let us check the user whatever created over here is reflecting in security console or not let me click on this home and go back to the home screen Go to tools under that security console. Switch over to the users. Search over here. Binum. Click on enter. Sorry, I have missed. I have given the wrong name. Binum. Enter. If you see, both the users are reflecting over here. The user, whatever we have created with the help of manage users, it will reflect over here. But the user, whatever we have created with the help of security console, it won't reflect over here we had seen there is an option to link the user which is created from security console over there so that option we can use in order to link the users now we can add the roles to the user whatever we have created in this step by going to security console under users once this opens up then we can click on edit and add the roles that is click on add role and add the roles whatever we need for this particular user in order to work for the implementation so like this we had seen both the methods in our earlier class we had seen how we can create the user in with the help of security console in oracle fusion cloud instance with the help of which we had created that binum learning 01 user that is this one and in this class we have created this binum learning 02 user with the help of manage users under financial setup in setup and maintenance which comes under administration menu so with the help of both the approaches we can create the user successfully in our oracle fusion cloud instance for our colleagues or for the new joinee or for testing applications etc